This is One on One. Dr. Shafiq Rabb is Chief Information Officer, Hackensack University Medical Center. Good to see you, doctor. Thank you for welcoming me and bringing me to your studio. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, what we call patient-driven technology. What are we talking about here? Well, you know, uh, we're all trying to change healthcare. We're all trying to bring the cost of the healthcare down, and we're all trying to improve the outcome of the healthcare. But the only person who can change their healthcare is the patient himself or herself. And as uh, technology has changed, that means we have cloud technology, right. we have mobility, and we have better internet now. So what it does is that it allows, what we are talking about is giving the power in the hand of the patient to change his or her healthcare by being a participant in the healthcare. And also having the control in their hand. That means in the olden days, the doctor used to tell a patient to do something. Nowadays, what we are really trying to make sure that the patient has the right information at the right time with the right alert so that he or she can take action. How do they do that? Well, for example, if somebody, I'll give you a simple example. If somebody has diabetes and they have a pump on the side and all of a sudden their sugar goes down, which is hypoglycemia, the pump alerts the iPhone, iPhone or any kind of a, a smartphone, tells the patient, hey, your blood sugar is down. That communicates with the car GPS and the car GPS start driving. Takes you to a local place, there are three food choices. Either you can get a healthy food, or a fatty food, or a good food that you like. Stops the car, you go inside, you look at the food with a glass. The glass tastes till, tells you the right portion of food to eat. You eat it and you become glycemic. You see? Yes. From the time, that means, or if you take another example that people can understand, is that we want you, somebody has had a heart attack, and they need to do exercise. So there is an app that tells you you gotta walk certain miles, and your doctor has prescribed that to you. Like doctor prescribed drugs and medication, now doctor prescribes apps to you. And you walk about half a mile, and you stop walking. Yes. There's an alert that goes back to the doctor's office who sends you a text, my dear friend, complete your mile. So that's a motivation that allows you to do that. So that's interesting because um, I've said this before, but I, I do a lot of communication training and coaching, and, and I've done some work up at Hackensack, and that's why I learned about this app and talking to Bob Garrett, um, the CEO of the entire Hackensack system. We were he was telling me about this app, and I said, well, how does this app work? And obviously, you're the chief technology officer, and your, your team is developing it. And I actually was having a hard time understanding it as it was the first thing explained to me. But as I understand it now, get, help me if I'm wrong, this is a communication system. Is it between the patient and the doctor, but also between doctors and doctors? That is correct. So um, here's how it, it goes, works through. When a patient comes to the doctor and the doctor says, hey, uh, my dear friend, uh, you have a condition in which you should take this medication. You should monitor your blood pressure. You should monitor your... Is it all in the app? Is it absolutely, saying all that? Absolutely. So the doctor writes an order. Let me walk you through. Doctor writes on the electronic health record. Got it. That goes, communicates... Who else gets that information? The patient and the doctor. That's it. That's it? That's it. How do we know that? Oh, because... Is it's that secure? It, it's secure. It's totally between the EHR and the app and the doctor, nobody else. EHR is electronic health, health, record. health rec record. No one else gets that. Absolutely Okay, not. go ahead. And so when, the, when that order goes in, and for example, uh, on the iPhones, you have Apple Health Kit, so which is integrated with it, and then the patient gets up in the morning, stands on a weight, that weight transmits through the Wi-Fi into the phone, <laughs> from the phone into the electronic health record, and, and then the patient sees one thing. Here's the, here's the good thing, that the patient sees on the phone three things. If he has exercised, if he has taken the drug, and if he has been compliant with his food intake, he sees that his blood pressure is maintained. The day he misses his drug, his blood pressure goes up. The day he does not do the exercise, the day goes up. So the patient has an interaction and a correlation that allows the patient to motivate himself or herself to get better. And is the, the, okay, but the doctor, the information is valuable, but the doctor, I mean, he or she has to be monitoring the inf information 
and then reaching out, like, so say I, I, I'm, I'm working, I have the app. Yes, sir. And my cardiologist is, is, has the information, but I don't exercise today. I don't take my medication. And my blood pressure is going up, or I don't even test it. My cardiologist, I mean, he or she has got to be saying, hey, Steve, what's up with you today? Absolutely. But that's only as good as the monitoring system, right? So here's how it goes. Uh, every doctor or every place that we have at Hackensack, we have a group of people trying to take care of the patient. Yes. Whether we have the nurses behind it, whether we have the care coordinators behind it. So we have a monitoring system and an alert system. And we also set it in a way like the following. Suppose somebody has congestive heart failure, which is a condition in their heart. Sure, if the middle left, go ahead. Yeah, and people get a little, they, they gain their weight. Yes. So it's a predetermined alert that tells you, hey, suppose your weight goes by one pound. Not too much. Right. So Five pounds, seven pounds. Yeah, and so there's a, there is a sequential uh, consequence for that. So if it goes by three pounds, you can start chatting with your nurse. If it goes by five pounds, you might have a video visit with the doctor. And if it's 15 pounds, maybe we should send an Uber to your home to bring you to the hospital. <laughs> this changes everything. Absolutely. 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 This is amazing. Um, Dr. Shafiq Rab, who is the chief information officer at uh, Hackensack University Medical Center, we're talking about electronic hospital records, we're talking about patient-driven technology, we're talking about a whole new way of uh, dealing with healthcare. Thank you, doctor, important stuff, good stuff. Thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association. Wells Fargo, the Northward Center, PSE&G, Johnson & Johnson, New Jersey Sharing Network, and by Verizon Communications. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.